Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Got the Wednesday basket pipe going, uh, haunted bookshop. Ah, it's been a, been a long day and uh, the week's kind of been like that. Lots and lots of work, but hey, pays the bills, right? Ah, uh, so last week's video, when I was talking about uh, objective beauty, I got a lot of responses, and I'm glad that video was of interest, and I, I will answer the comments. I'm just so far behind on comments right now. But I noticed quite a few people pointed out, uh, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. There's no such thing as objective beauty. Beauty's always subjective. And I wasn't trying to deny the subjective nature of beauty. I get that what you think is beautiful might not be what I think is beautiful. What I was trying to point to was that there is something, there is something objective that we can all look at and agree on. That that was that was my only point. So. I don't know what that something is. I can't really point to it. Uh, but there's something about a harmonious design that we appreciate. And when things depart too far from that, we universally react to it. Um, of course, we all bring our own personal uh, experiences to that and perceive it differently. So yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But there's some baseline that has to be there in order for anyone to see beauty. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. At least that's what I believe. And I'm far from a um, art historian or a philosopher, so you can take whatever I say with a big old grain of salt. Uh, you know, it's days like this where I've barely had time to, to pick this up. The luxury of uh, being able to light up a pipe and spend some time chatting is, is really a wonderful thing. And I'll be honest with you, when I pressed, and you probably noticed this from the way this video started, when I pressed record, I hope I pressed record, I did. Um, I didn't have any idea what I was going to be talking about, so. But I really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride with me and uh, sharing a smoke with me. It sure can brighten a dark day. Not that it's been very dark. It's uh, actually weather's been quite nice. We'll have to see what the weekend will hold. I heard there's going to be rain on Friday. So, other thing I wanted to show you: pipe I'm working on. The other thing I wanted to show you is if I had a first thing, but uh, bear with me, I'm new at this. So I, I slandered custom builds, and I said, you know, the, they're never beautiful. Uh, and I just happened to be working on this. And I hope you'll be able to pick that up. This is a custom-built figural pipe. And you can see there are two horse heads on the front of that. Uh, one looking down, one looking up. Rather beautiful design, to be honest. Um, now, I don't like the pipe. I think it's got other problems. Being a custom builder almost has to have other problems. But... That's a that's a pretty nice sculpture on there. 
and I do think it's uh, it certainly is is beautiful in its own right. So I wanted to show you that uh, in part because of my comments last week, but uh, also I was talking to my buddy Jack Kurtz, and uh, he was saying that he's looking for one with a dog on it, and uh, I said, you know, I, I didn't even know Custom Build made these. I knew marksman did i did not know custom build had figures but just goes to show you so i'm in no way qualified to comment on the beauty of custom builds but you take away that horse and that's an ugly pipe okay so i i think i've got three pipes here that I'm in the final stages I got to do some polishing and uh, they're getting some pipe mortar as well so I got to get that all worked out and then this set of pipes will be ready to go back to its owner and I can move on to the next customer so I'm happy about that it was a big order you know, seven pipes so it's been uh, it's been taking a lot of time and I'm happy for the work and I've learned a lot doing it but it'll be nice to draw that to a close and move on. Hopefully by the end of the week I'll be able to do that. But tonight I think I'm gonna not do very much because I'm I'm kinda beat. got other work piling up in the yard I have to finish our lawn guy wanted to come today and I said well you're gonna have to swerve in and out of the branches because I haven't picked them up yet so I've got to get that done but if it's gonna rain on Friday I've got a small window of time when I can get this done and tomorrow is a not going to be an easy day of work either, so I may finish this pipe and then go out and do some yard work while the uh, the sun is still shining. But after that, I'm just going to take it easy. Um, maybe watch some YouTube videos or see what my wife wants to watch on TV. For all you Broken Wood fans, I've talked about Broken Wood before. They started the new season, so uh, there's actually two new episodes out now. Uh, they come out on Monday nights on Acorn, so we've been we've been enjoying that, and uh, it's a really good series if you haven't seen it. Detective uh, murder mystery type stuff, but but well done. The other one she's got me watching is. Um, is it called Midsummer Mysteries? I think it's called Midsummer. It's either mid. It can't be Midsummer Murders. That sounds awful. I think it's Midsummer Mysteries. That one's a bit harder for me to watch. It's um. It seems like, and and I have to say, I haven't watched that much of it. But it seems like every episode that I've seen, it's not just one murder. It's like six murders all occurring. And they're all supposed to be occurring in this place called Midsummer in the UK. And, you know, it's got this small village feel to it. And there's different villages that are part of Midsummer. And, you know, I get that. It's a bigger, I don't know how things are described there. But it's, but it's a larger area that's composed of multiple smaller villages. But, you know, just the idea that there'd be this many murders in a place like that. It reminds me of... Um, when I used to joke about murder, she wrote with uh, uh, what's her name, Jessica Fletcher. Uh, I I used to always say that Cabot Cove is going to run out of people because <laughs> every week there's another another person in Cabot Cove getting murdered, and I think they eventually realized that was a problem because then she started traveling and there were murders in New York and Los Angeles and everywhere. So. But I like Brokenwood. 
I like broken wood. I like I like Columbo, Perry Mason. I like I like my murder mysteries to have one murder. On that happy note, I'm going to have to figure out what the heck I'm going to entitle this video that doesn't use the word murder. <laughs> and I'm going to let you all go. Uh, join us Friday night. It's uh, it's going to be a solo live stream, so just me and you folk, and we'll have, a, have ourselves some fun. So I hope to see you Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, looking forward to the rapidly approaching weekend. So with that, guys, I'm going to go. Y'all take care, and we'll talk soon.